What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Kelvin's Garage. We have a very special episode for you here today and I've got my black and white uh, hoodie because we are in El Monte, California at a very 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 special place called Fujiwara Tofu Cafe, all right? Fujiwara Tofu Cafe. And for those of you who are Initial D fans, you'll know exactly what that is. Fujiwara Tofu uh, being the business that Takumi Fujiwara, Fujiwara uh, operated with his dad and delivered tofu in the AE86, the classic legendary drift car. And here is the Fujiwara Tofu Cafe. Fujiwara Tofu and one really really cool thing about this being in LA is the JDM import scene and of course as part of Fujiwara Tofu Cafe they must have a Fujiwara Tofu AE86 Hachiroku right here and they have this beautiful replica of the Corolla GTS AE86 and we're here to show it to you today So being out here in SoCal, you know, they have a really large JDM scene and uh, they have a lot of access to the parts that you would need to put together a Fujiwara style AE86. But look at this, look how cool this is. It's got the AE86 with the carbon bonnet. Okay, so this is the Project D version, right? And we've got the fog lights, these yellow fog lights, okay? And it even has the license plate that the AE86 and the anime has. 13-954 that's the anime's license plate on Akina Mountain okay we come around here we've got the RS Watanabe right RS Watanabe rims 14 inch actually these might be 15 inch and we've got all the classic JDM bits in here we take a look inside we've got the Recaros racing seats we even have the Ital Volante steering wheel I don't know if you guys can see that but that's an Ital Volante Admiral I believe steering wheel with the red accent on the center part of the steering wheel it might be hard to see that but uh, if we take a look here we've got the rims again and it says fan owned vehicle which may contain non-oem parts so that's cool that they give us a little disclaimer right there another cool thing about this car it really has a lot of the ori the original bits and pieces of the anime we've got the trueno okay this wind visor we call it a wind visor uh, so that when you're driving, you know, the wind doesn't get in your face when the window is down, okay? Got the mirrors here. Now these are might not be the original ones, okay? Because these belonged on the SR5. This is not the GTS um, early model mirrors, okay? These are the manual mirrors. All right, but we've got the two-tone paint scheme, beautiful two-tone paint scheme. Got your Trueno emblem, right? RS Watanabe's. We even have the decal, right? The decal, the infamous decal that is part of the car, right? Part of the anime. Okay, and if we come up on top here, it's got the red interior. I can kind of see that. And that is authentic to the anime. But it has SR5 seats in the back here. Some of which are a little bit loosely put together. And this one has a roll cage of some kind, right? It has a roll cage. But if you take a look, you know, it obviously is a classic car. Some of the little chrome trimmings here are losing its black paint but more or less it's all there all intact and we've got this sticker here Fujiwara tofu grand opening cafe sticker pretty cool all right just coming around the back here we see it's got all of the JDM goodies we got the apex twin cam sticker here Trueno sticker and it has the Zenki tail lights sprinter Trueno tail lights and it's pretty cool it even has an exhaust here although I don't think that's the original one the original one is pretty stock looking like a Fujitsu bow or something but uh, no it's got the cool paint scheme it's got the uh, roll cage has the Trueno Sprinter Zenki tail lights it even has the mud flap so this is a little bit hard to find these mud flaps because what happens is that it wears out over time but it's amazing to see this it's pretty cool uh, that you got the mud flaps and it even has this molding here this molding here that has a Trueno emblem this is a little bit hard to come by too this might not be original, but uh, maybe it is, I'm not sure. For a long time, you could still buy these new, but probably not anymore. 
but overall this car looks beautiful and I love it looks amazing and I love how they've integrated this into this restaurant this tofu cafe shop and uh, let's check out inside the restaurant heading into the Fujiwara tofu cafe shop let's see what kind of boba they got of the front storefront in Japan so pretty cool Fujiwara Tofu Den Fujiwara Tofu Cafe look at this cool table over here counter and we've got all the memorabilia in this case over here Got the original manga right here and all these little diecast toys. It's amazing. Had a little replica toy of the Toku shop. Models, diecast models. They even got the shoes, the initial D shoes and watch collection. Never seen that before. And it has a Tirano diecast model. And even the Legos. We got the Legos here. Red Suns, RX7, and FC and FD. Isn't that cool? this amazing looking replica of the Fujiwara Tofu shop storefront and look at this really cool Fujiwara Tofu shop door right here we got the door we got the little character there Fujiwara Tofu it's amazing What's really cool about this place is they even had the Initial D video game and I used to play it many years ago but here it is Initial D version 3 Look at all this cool memorabilia in this corner here too We've got the Tureno Lego version and the little model of the car and the shop as well as the side opening of the shop and more Tueno toys, FD toys, stickers, the license plates, and even got t-shirts for you hardcore fans who want to wear Fujiwara branding. Look at all these cool stickers here and we even have these skateboards, skateboards and wall scrolls of Initial D. Just got our Fujiwara Zone drink. Look at that. Black and white, just like the Panda AE86 Hachiroku. Alright, it took a while, but I finally got my delicious Fujiwara Zone drink. So, next time, if any of you guys are out here in the El Monte, uh, Southern California, LA region, come and visit the Fujiwara Tofu Cafe. All right, and you can check out the really cool e 86 right here over my shoulder. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Kelvin's Garage. <laughs>